What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale, and today's guest, I'm so excited to have her. She is a Canadian queen. You have seen her on The Late Late Show with James Corden. Comedian, writer, it's Sophie Bottle, everyone. Hey! Oh, uh, what a fun, like, you have a fun, bubbly name. Thank Soapy you. Bottle. I know, it's like Soapy Bubbles. It's oh, like bubble. <laughs> Soapy Bubbles. It is. I did, when I was like a really little kid, people obviously told me that it sounded like butthole, but... Mm, kids are as, assholes. As I grew older, I was like, everybody likes buttholes now. It's kind of yeah, been... It's, I know. I know. Like, if there's one thing that's Look who had, comes crawling back. Yeah, the I mean, haters. if anything's had a movement, <laughs> no pun intended. Okay. <laughs> in the last few years, it's buttholes, for yeah, sure. No, like, truly. I was like, ooh, no. And now everyone's like, okay. I know, and I'm riding that wave. Yeah. <laughs> and Soapy Bubbles could be a good poor name if your comedy career doesn't work out. Such a good poor name. I know, totally. Soapy Bubbles. And also, um, I love your bio description because it just says very famous. Well, so that's like I made a website like kind of frantically because I'm like obviously from Canada. I moved to the States like, you know, two years ago. Mm -hmm. And the industry in Canada for comedians is like very limited. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of like be a very, you know, professional comic. You could headline all the clubs. You can do all the festivals and then still like not really need a website. And so I came to the States and then all my managers and agents and stuff were like, okay, why don't you have a website? Why don't you have this? And so I just kind of like threw everything to together really quickly and so it's like bio on my website it's like very famous <laughs> yeah, and then every time I have to send a bio for something now I get an email that's like hey haha we loved your website but we do need your actual credits <laughs> <I'm> like, mm. <laughs> oh well I'm so excited to have you here what part of Canada are you from so I went to high school in Ottawa, which is like near Toronto. And okay. then I say Vancouver because I've spent like the past 10 years in Vancouver. Okay. Are you liking LA so far? Yes, I love LA. Are uh -huh. you from LA? No. Where are you from? I mean, I'm from here now. I've lived here long enough where I'm like, okay. Originally yeah. from Texas. Oh, from Texas. Yeah. Okay, fun. And so do you like Texas? Do you have... Yeah, Texas is fun. Yeah. I loved growing up there, but yeah. I like doing shows there. Like, yeah. I, I do comedy there. I'm next weekend, I'm in Austin. Yo, yeah, we'll plug but, that for sure. Yeah, I'll plug that later. But I, I find that, like, the shows there are quite good. In Texas? Yeah. yeah I mean, in cities. Have, in yeah, cities. they just want to have a good time. Yeah. Good time. Like, throw some beers around, maybe do some karaoke afterwards, hang out with you after the show. Yeah, it's very friendly. You know, yeah. throw you in a white van. Oh my God, you know, traffic you, human traffic you. Yeah, fun. yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's a really, <laughs> love, really good time. Love, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I'm so excited that you're here because we have some big, big stories. I obviously was gone for a week. I was... Where were you? I'm so glad you asked. I, <laughs> you know, I, I became one with the island of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I uh, was right, in... Would you say that you're still on island time? I'm still on island time. Yeah. I don't want to admit it, but I am. I'm still on island time. I uh, wake up early, like LA time early. Like I woke yeah. up at like seven. And just like get grounded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I woke up at seven this morning because it was 4 a.m. in Hawaii. So I'm just like, uh, so I'm still trying to get into it. But of course, while I'm away, everything happens. Yes. Everything yes. happens. I'm going to be giving you guys a Patreon episode of my entire mm -hmm. Hawaii trip. It was so much fun. Lots of pictures, lots of memories, some amazing uh, encounters that happened along the way. Encounters feels like maybe wildlife. Wildlife um, in and out of the infinity pool. So yes, it was definitely <laughs> okay. made some new friends. Um, I mean, that sounds so weird. Not like not like that. It wasn't like, oh, I threw my keys in a coconut. Let's see what happens. No, it was just really fun memories. Uh, first time doing things. See, that sounds weird too. It, it feels very white lotus. -y. Oh, I know. It was very white lotus, and it was just so wonderful. So I'll put that up, and we'll we'll uh, you'll have that extra uh, content for you. But let's get into everything. Yes. I mean, first off the bat. We have to talk about this Sean P. Diddy scandal that is happening. I mean, move over Tom Sandoval because... I know. This scandal is like rocking everything. And to be honest, like, I did... We weren't going to like really talk about it just because it, it is dark. No, There's it's a dark. lot of darkness dark. to it. In this podcast, I just want everyone to be like, oh yeah, we're having fun and, you know, chatting and kikiing and all that stuff. But like, we can't just like not talk about the scandal that is rocking No, it feels like it feels like the new like Epstein. Like That's it feels what I was like Epstein say. level, yeah. Yeah, Epstein of hip hop. Like yes, seriously, yes. like P Diddy Steen. <laughs> <laughs> P Diddy Epstein. I mean, it is it's it's crazy because it involves like What does the P stand for? Pedophile. What does, 
Oh. It was in front of us the whole time. It's always the worst. Egg on our when... face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not only on Justin Bieber's face. I know. Allegedly. Who said that? Allegedly. Who said that? That's really hey, not that appropriate. Your, he's that a is, minor. That is your. And he's a Canadian. That is that, your Canadian that's prince. That's my little guy. That's on you. Stop that. <laughs> is it too late to say sorry? I don't know. Is it? Uh, <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Um. <laughs> So, yeah, so he's been held without bail after allegations of sex trafficking, racketeering, arrest. I mean, the list goes on and on. I know, I, and I heard that they tried so, so hard to get bail, but the reason the judge said no was because they thought that he was going to tamper with witnesses. Of course. Which, of course, he was going to. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's crazy because I knew, and I'm not saying that I, like, saw this coming, but, like, he got, like, the like global icon award or something for MTV like last year or two years ago, something like that. And no one, like, it just, he just got it. Well, I've been confused because it's like, I thought that they had been talking about this for years. Yes, like I thought I, that they had there talk- were always like but, little... No, but it is like in Hollywood where there are, are these like open secrets or like somebody's like a punchline and then they've never been like brought to court or yes. whatever. Like so Harvey, just, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, Everyone's exactly. Like, Don't There's, go to his place. <laughs> no, the, yeah, yeah, that one, there was like a thing on Family Guy where they made a joke mm-hmm. about like avoiding Harvey Weinstein. And mm-hmm. then I, like P. Diddy, there's so many jokes. I saw there there was like an old um, Letterman, or wait, Letterman or Conan, Conan, yes. Conan interview yes. of him where he's like talking about his parties and he locks the doors and he turns the heat up because it makes people drunker. And mm-hmm. it's like he's talking about it in, out in the open but it was like it's only now I guess coming to court for the first time is, yeah. that, is that why it's like now finally real I think it's just because it's just been blown open and like so going uh, to the to the MTV award he got this award he like performed like his greatest hits which I was kind of like okay <laughs> all two of them I guess, I don't yeah. know like I'm not like a big P. Diddy fan I no, never same. was but like I know that he was like so you want to be a baller so call- no, okay yeah no. yeah everybody likes can't ev- do it yeah Island time. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, it was just like out of nowhere. And he was just like, he looked like he was, a, you know, potentially under the influence of something. He looked he looked kind of like bloated and tired and just like. He's got that drug head. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, I just want to thank everybody who like gave this award to me. And I was like, I don't think anyone wanted you to have this award. <laughs> but there you go. It was kind of like a, let's just give it to him. Okay, bye. Yes, yes. That's what I kind of got from it. Interesting, yeah. interesting. And so do you think that he, like, got even put up for it for, like, sus reasons? Like, do you think that he kind of, like, just, like, felt like an award and then maybe had something on somebody? Because one of his big things was, like, like, um, like Epstein, mm-hmm. where, where he has, like, videotapes of everybody in his house, mm-hmm. which was, like, the big difference between, you know— it's like you have, you, you know, you're doing dirty stuff with people or you have blackmail on them. It's, it's just, a whole other... Well, and and producer Land was saying that um, he offered the judge like $50 million for bail, which I was like, can you just do that? He's you like... Just have that on hand? Well, he, uh, it was his, one of his homes that he was going to sell for like $48 million, and then he was going to like sell that and then like give the two million dollars to the court which I'm like you don't just like bargain with the judicial system <laughs> I didn't know. but I mean nowadays well, this do is, you this is America you can uh, buy anything I am so I do not understand how American judge systems work at all same <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does. We it's just it's just so well because A, I didn't know. I mean, I always knew like P. Diddy was like powerful because he always changed his name and we had to just go along with it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was like Puffy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Diddy. Yeah. Like and we were just like, what does he want to be called now? And I'm like, why do we care? We don't know him. No, no, totally. But we but all we did just, it. We had to do it. Yeah. Cor- I remember correcting people. I'm like, oh, Puff Daddy. They're like, it's P. Diddy. It's like he identifies yeah. as P. Diddy <laughs> now. So. He was the first, like, he, how he identifies as. Yeah, he was the first one that's like, yeah. This he, is how I identify now. That's and so cool that he's an innovator in that way. But <laughs> <laughs> Giving him credit for pronouns is insane. I mean, P. <laughs> Diddy so was fun. like the first one. <laughs> A trailblazer. <laughs> trailblazer in, in a community and, that we did not need. No, no. And I, I do feel like um, one of the reasons people are so interested in it, because obviously he's so fucked up, the stories are so fucked up, but there's so many other big celebrities that are like so intertwined with it. That's what I was going to so, say. Yeah, like, so who, has, like who do you know of? Okay, so um, Jay-Z, I'm told, is going to be like tightly intertwined with a lot of this. Uh-huh. Um, Jay-Z, Usher, Mary J. Blige, uh, J-Lo... Um, well, J-Lo was shot, wasn't she? She was at a shooting. She wasn't shot. She was at... She dated him. She dated him and there was like a shooting. 
huh. from like a woman was shot and then he like kind of like bought her off or something. Mm -hmm. So I read in a story that Jayla was like spiraling even more so than she is every day now. Oh my God, all of her movies yes, she's made but, for no reason. But here's... <laughs> Jennifer. And right now, everything is a conspiracy. I don't know what to yes. believe. It is like... Can I tell you my conspiracy about like yes. just zooming out of like why this whole thing is like being so covered? I think that the government... Not the government. I think the government herself is <laughs> Lady trying, Liberty. Lady Liberty herself is trying to distract from something and then every, like, news channel is covering the P. Diddy stuff because I feel like whenever, like, a big celebrity thing comes out, it is sort of like, okay, let's, like, throw all of the coals on this fire. Look over here. Yes, and I don't have, like, what the thing is that they're distracting from. This is simply my instincts. This is simply because I'm my father, and I'm like, well, what is the government up to oh, in no. this whole? <laughs> so we are being Jada Essence Hall right now, Drag Race. Just <laughs> look over there, like straight up, Jada Essence Hall. You got us, bitch. I mean, honestly, it's crazy because like I saw a story today because I'm like trying to catch up for you know recording today, and I'm You're just frantically kind of, like, who raped who? Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, now my fucking algorithm's just gonna be like, pay diddy, pay diddy, pay diddy. I'm no, like, my no, whole no, TikTok so what is, is so what no. it looks like, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, <laughs> this is one of the other uh, conspiracy theories, is that Ben Affleck knew the whole J-Lo P. Diddy like, shooting incident mm -hmm. and um, knew that this whole thing was going to go down with P. Diddy, which was freaking Jen Jennifer Lopez out. And so he was trying to get her to either like come forward with it, and she was just like, no. And that was the reason... They got divorced. <gasps> Not because I she's know. insane. <laughs> it's crazy. That and is crazy. Well, like I think Ben that was like, I don't want to be a part of this. Like, I'm out. <laughs> oh. But it's also like there's no way that Ben has never done anything wrong. Well, first of besides all. his back tattoo. Yeah, maybe he's an angel. Maybe he's an angel. That's or a fine. Phoenix. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I do think that one of the interesting conversations in this with all of the celebrity with all the celebrities is like who was like a full victim at these P. Diddy parties and who was like doing nasty stuff and who's like who's kind of in between because I think that there's going to be a lot of celebrities especially like the female celebrities that were at these parties are going to try to claim that they were like held captive there but a lot of people are saying that like they also did stuff to try to like get in Ah, uh, it's so dark but is he so is this like R. Kelly level it seems like it. Like, it, it does seem like it's, like, a lot of victims. It seems like it was something that he was doing very regularly. And one of the things I heard that also I think is a conspiracy theory, but yes, yes. everybody that's ever dated J-Lo has said that she's just, like, a nightmare. Oh, and the only sure. person that's, like, raved about his relationship with her was P. Diddy. Uh-huh. And so it kind of seems like she maybe did something, because why is he, like, defending her? I was in Hawaii, and someone was telling me shitty things about J-Lo. Oh my god! She everywhere travels. I she go, goes everywhere. Everywhere I go, people has have shitty stories about J Lo. That's crazy. But then there's like the um, uh, also the trend right now. Not trend. It's not really a trend, but um, people are noticing that celebrities are like scrubbing their Twitter accounts. Mm -hmm. I don't know, girl. I'm kind of here for it. You want them to delete everything? No, I'm just like all this, all these little like everybody's worried. Everyone's scattering. Like the lights are on, the roaches are running. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Right? That's so true. I mean, I mean, comedians are always kind of in trouble because we're all we talk out of our asses or mm -hmm. whatever. But it is fun to see the bigger celebrities also sweating a little. Well, it is just so like fascinating because like um, I'm trying to think like who else is like like linked in with this. I think Eve is like linked in with this. Mm -hmm. Like. I don't know. I feel like this is why it's good to be like crazy rich because you could just be like, and I'm out. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I mean, I do feel like if I knew that I was in trouble with one of these P. Diddy parties, I would just be like, bye. And then you go and you live on your island. Yeah, so the alleged list contains names of Leonardo DiCaprio, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Ashton Kutcher, Paris Hilton, Howard Stern, Russell Brand, Mariah Carey, Jennifer Lopez, Russell Simmons, Usher, Megan Fox. Hmm. These are all people that have like scrubbed their uh, Twitter accounts. Whoa, but that could be as simple as like just tweeting that they love him or a picture with him or something, right? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't have know. No. But I, I, it makes you go like I'm just kind of like Jeffrey Epstein. He's like, shit, I hanged myself for this. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> 
And he did. Allegedly. He did hang himself. Allegedly. That's so true. Brave. Honestly, yes. brave to be like, he did hang oh, himself. Yeah. <laughs> did I hang myself for you this? You actually heard it here first. He killed himself. Yeah. <laughs> no other podcast. No. No other podcast. Brave. Literally No brave. other, like, news outlet. Yeah. But I feel like if... Jeffrey Epstein was a country artist. His album would be called Did I Hang Myself for This? <laughs> um, it is truly fascinating. I can't wait to see where it goes. There was like a thousand bottles of like baby Lube. oil. Yeah. Okay. I got my water Real out. talk. It's real talk. I need to lubricate because <laughs> I have so many questions. Was it baby oil or was it lube? I heard it was both. Okay. You can have both. I did but hear baby about, oil is not lube. No, baby oil is not lube. What I heard was that, you know, there was a lot of drugs being taken. There was a lot of drinks being drank. And what was the name of his parties? Freak? Freak off? Oh, freak offs. Freak offs, yeah. A freak off party? Which... So, the, so the girl on TikTok that what I heard talking about the baby oil was just kind of setting up a scene where it's like, you know, they they get all these girls or or kids or like whoever it is they're having sex with. Ugh. They get they get them all drunk and got them all fucked up on drugs, and then they like cover them in baby oil, and then they're like can't escape. Was like what I kind of heard, <laughs> and but I don't know if that's Not like true like over hog shit. chasing, like hog chasing. Okay, Texas hog. <laughs> okay, it was a quinceanera. It was one time. <laughs> oh my god. It's just, like, so fucked up and, like, such crazy things are going to come out. That's too much. Too much baby oil. That's too slippery. <laughs> Why are you trying to be that slippery? It's so weird because I honestly mm -hmm. thought I was like, oh, this is AI. Like, I don't know what to believe it anymore. It does look like AI. It's well, so AI. But I heard that that is, like, the big dangers of AI. It's not going to be that they put out images and then we all believe it. It's going to be that we don't believe real images because we're all, like, could have been AI. It could be AI. Yeah. I, you could be a hologram. I don't know if you're I even am. here. <laughs> Canada's I, not real. Canada's Canada a hologram. Not real. But it is crazy. Canada's yeah. not real. Look, and Epstein hung himself. Yeah, but I'm I'm living for like like first of all this like Cristal baby oil I that know. is just locked up in uh, the Cristal baby oil just wine this cellar. This is embarrassing. Yeah, mm, this is a I good mean, year. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's weird as shit, but it looks rich. <laughs> Oh my god! No, it is inviting. And the like fridges are these like in fridges? I I would assume they are temperature controlled baby oil yeah, cabinets. If you're if and they're all the same brand too. He clearly has brand loyalty. Oh my god! I imagine like whoever brand makes this is like panicking right oh, now. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> this <is a> absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the Lemaire of baby oil. Yeah, because they're like, why would anybody need that much of it? They're but like also like this doesn't shock me because I just finished watching this season of Selling Sunset. <laughs> And I feel like someone would be like, okay, the baby oil room is down the hall. <laughs> we also have the discotheque under the grotto. We have yes. the helicopter landing on top. Like Selling Sunset is like the new Pimp My Ride. It really is. Because why do you have that? Why do you have that? And why do I want it so and why bad? why do I need it? And why am I a failure? Why am I so poor? <laughs> it really is. Like, I look at these people and they're like, it's $68 million in cash. And you're like... And these people don't even blink. They're like, okay, yeah, we'll just have our people call. Can we move in like two days from now? What? I know. Who are they? God, meanwhile, my Venmo is at Justin Dash Martindale. <laughs> Feel free. I mean, it's insane. I don't have Venmo yet because it's like you need like an American phone number to have it. But my friend owns the Venmo that's at Urban Outfitters. And she keeps, like, waiting. She thought that somebody would, like, try to buy it from her. But, like, Urban Outfitters is, like, they're not, like, on Is Venmo. this a side hustle? So, I think... Well, yeah. And she always gets, like, requests, like, like requests for refunds for uh -huh. stuff. And then she's always, like, fuck you. Like, <laughs> and so, um, Urban Outfitters, if you're listening, my friend Jocelyn is for sale. <laughs> okay. So, your friend is the P. Diddy of Urban Outfitters. Yes. Got it. Yes. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Baby oil is available at Urban Outfitters. That's <laughs> wild. That's so... Oh, this is just a slippery situation. Very, it really very is. slippery. I, I'm, like, trying to even, like, think of, like, what's going to happen because you never know. I feel like every day it's going to be, like, oh, God, like, I know, this else. is going to be the new juicy uh, trial, like, uh, since, the, since the Johnny Depp, Amber Heard one because I feel do, like everybody was watching that one, too. I mean, do you think he's going to... Jail? 
I don't know. Like I, I, mean, I don't. No. <laughs> I, <laughs> Lady I mean, Liberty. <laughs> as as the final word on the subject, I do I do feel that he should go to jail. Oh, uh, so <laughs> the the freak off parties were um, they were he forced sex trafficking victims to engage in group sex acts, distributing a variety of controlled substances to victims in part to keep the victims obedient and compliant, which he directed, masturbated during, and often electronically recorded. Oh, and then and so they I, got them IV fluids to recover, which is nice. After free Have you off, had IV? I, I love Have an, you had an IV? A liquid drip? IV? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the, when they come to your house and they oh, do yeah. the IV drip? Yeah. I am obsessed. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. Yeah. And it, like, it if, makes me feel so Hollywood. It's, and you can taste it. You're like, mmm, vitamins. I know, and it's like your blood feels cold. Yeah. And you're like, wow. I mean, I would definitely love it a post after freak IV drip. Every time I've had a freak off, nobody gets me anything. <laughs> nobody gets me a damn thing. I'm slipping and sliding it, all over the kitchen. Exactly. I'm in need of fluids. If you're a, sw yeah, you're like a human Swiffer. Yeah. I know. Nobody willing to be like, thank you for the aftercare. <laughs> I mean, if you if you own a, a liquid IV like clinic right now, and if you don't have the after freak off blend, uh, you're like you're missing out. You like you're that an idiot. Is bank right and like now. yeah, you're gonna get canceled, but everyone's gonna order your yeah. It has all the vitamins all the fluids for getting your freak back after a freak off, right? <laughs> um, I mean, it is insane just to... Because I, I, I feel like it has been discussed and it is dark. And it, I mean, it is a touchy subject, but my God, at the end of the day, we're comics. We got to make fun of this and like, you know, all that stuff. And they're all so rich. Yeah, we like seeing like Rich people kind of like eat shit. Well, rich people, they're just like us. They also <laughs> get molested. <laughs> but does Diddy pump his own gas? Does he take out the trash? No, it is. It oh, is it seems wild. that we're being shuffled along. Smart. Yeah, Very so smart by the shout we'll out. Go, we'll shout go out go to the, the fellas. <laughs> <laughs> this week's episode is brought to you by our friends over at Pink Dot. Pink Dot, for those of you who do not know, is a true West Hollywood staple. Located right here on the Sunset Strip for over 50 years. Pink Dot has been satisfying customers before and after they become big stars. Pink Dot is the perfect place to grab some late night food or snacks, whether it's made to order sandwiches or you know what, last minute alcohol. And here at the Comedy Store, we love to support other local businesses and Pink Dot is literally right up the street. I love Pink Dot. When I moved to LA years ago, Pink Dot, I did not know existed. It literally was just a small, tiny little business right on the corner of La Cienega and Sunset, and they would deliver everything to me, and it felt so bougie and glamorous. And now they've just turned into this, like, massive... Um, delivery service. They've got everything you could ever dream of right at your fingertips. And I highly recommend it. If you're coming to the Sunset Strip and you're coming to the Comedy Store, grab a bite before or after you come laugh your ass off here at the Comedy Store. Go to Pink Dot. You're welcome. What about Chapel Roan instead well, let's of all talk about the Chapel Roan. molestation okay. talk? Sure. You, fine. You, are you loving her? I, I love her. Yeah. Do you love her? I do. I feel like we here at the Just Saying Podcast have really built her up to become the phenomenon. Sorry, the feminine, feminine phenomenon, phenomenon. <laughs> that she has become. No, she's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Um, no, she's great. She's so unique. She takes big risks. She's fun. She's making pop, like she's making bops, but also has like creative integrity. She Yes, absolutely. But I have to say, people are kind of being like, Chapel groaning about her because <laughs> she and you know this isn't a this I'm not coming for her. No, I've had this bitch's back since day one. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, she has said that she is clinically depressed. Um, her rise in fame has like you know really been like stressful. Been stressful. She's you know yelling at guys on the red carpet at the VMAs love. and which I did, love I did too. I saw her yelling and I was like yes. Fuck you. True. Yeah. And these paparazzi guys, fuck you. I know, they seem awful. Like, are you? Like, yeah. Fuck you. And she's like, fuck you. Like, yeah. 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 But I mean, it has been a lot. Um, but uh, she's just kind of getting into this weird, like... Um, like, throw it all at the wall type. It's like, a, it's not a, it's like a throw it all to the wall, but it's also just like kind of, and it's not complaining. It's just, she's just very like vocal about... How it's a lot, and I'm also, but 
So, and I get it. Yeah, you yeah. you literally went from a Midwestern princess to like a pop goddess, like, yeah, and like it is, overnight. And it has created all these conversations about like a gratitude yeah. and like women specifically have to, having to be so grateful all the yes. time. And it's like, yes. and it's, and I, so it is, I find it, I do find it still refreshing, all of her public complaining. Yes. But and, a lot of people are just like, hey, get over it. You're like famous and rich now. But I mean, I get it. But it's also like, hey, people are awful once you're famous and rich. I liked when she was talking about um, having like boundaries with people that see yeah. her in public. Yes. I thought that that was great. And I thought that that was a really good point. I saw so many other celebrities being like, thanks for yeah. talking about this because it's so hard. And, and everybody is so um, such a slave to their fans, right? Like comedians and musicians and and filmmakers even. It's like if you're, if you're making something, you do need your fans specifically mm -hmm. to show up. And if they're mad at you, then like Doja Cat had this too where she was like like kind of saying like fuck you I don't owe you anything to right. her fans and everyone was like we made you which I didn't like because it's like okay you didn't make her you liked the thing that she right. made and then supported that and that was the interact that was the commerce there's it's nothing worse than like someone coming in and being like no one knew who you were until blah 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 and you're like just shut up it, it feels like when a guy when like a straight guy is mm -hmm. like I was nice to you why won't you have sex with me right it, it's that weird like entitlement mm -hmm. that I don't like but I also am like yeah, you do maybe have a responsibility if you're like a public figure that's not, you know, to be vaguely um, professional. I, like, I don't like, know. I don't you know. You also want them to be human. Yeah. And so that's why I'm glad we're having this discussion because it's I, 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 I it's very like, I, I see both sides of it as just being like, okay, yes, I want to be vocal. This is how I'm feeling. This is what's going on. But I also understand because I, I, I've been the same way where people are just like, just shut up and be funny, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just shut the hell up. We don't need to know what you're doing, you know? Yeah. And so, if, and she's now uh, in a little bit of hot water because she has been vocal about not endorsing a presidential candidate like yes. Taylor Swift has, Billie Eilish has. So a lot of these pop girls are like with these huge followings, whatever. Yeah. Well, I saw them accusing her of being MAGA coded because she said that there's like bad people on both sides. Sort I mean, of. if and there's anybody MAGA coded, it's definitely Chapel Rome. Because, I mean, just... <laughs> Dressed as a drag queen look, and you're yeah, like, look, so true. She's <laughs> like, she like brought out like, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, what's her name? Um, ah, hold on. <laughs> My brain is fried. The drag queen that introduced uh, her at the yes, VMA. Yes, um, Sasha Colby. Oh, Goddamn, yeah. <laughs> I love you, Sasha Colby. I just blanked. There's too many Colbys in the Colby family. Sasha Colby, <laughs> the mother of the Colbys. Yes. Um, no, no, exactly. Like she's like she's like queer out of the Midwest, dresses like a drag queen. Like she's literally she's literally so liberal. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this now. Yeah. Okay. So she's not endorsing a presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. Now there's one candidate that's not pro. LGBT mm -hmm. and but they say they are whatever mm -hmm. and then there's the one who actually is yeah. so is it bad for her to say that she's not endorsing clearly the obvious candidate that would have her communities back in an election I I suppose like I guess I would say like I don't feel like other pop stars are being asked to endorse someone yeah. I feel like they're kind of doing it on their own mm -hmm. because they feel motivated to it for for whatever reason right and I don't know if artists have a responsibility to enter into politics especially if they don't like know a lot about it right and so I don't I don't get the vibe <clears throat> that Chaperone doesn't like know a lot about it but she is like from the Midwest and blah 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 like I feel like there's a chance that she's like maybe close to family members that are kind of Trumpy and like maybe he doesn't maybe he doesn't hate that like and I'm not I'm not calling her MAGA coded I just no hate she's definitely not MAGA coded but it is it is interesting that it, you know you have Taylor Swift who you know is like like the goddess of all of pop I guess um, but who is saying something and I agree I feel like if you it is it is your Life, it is your conversation to have if you want to have that and mm -hmm. be like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I'm voting for someone. So, you, also, you don't have to say anything, but I do feel like it's kind of like, really, girl, you're like, I know, this it feels like it's queer easy. Pop it feels princess easy. who's like, I, yeah, millions and millions of people, and you're like, mm, I don't like either of them, and you're like, Ugh! I do feel what you're saying. I do feel yeah. what you're saying. And it does feel like she should, out of all the pop stars, should have an easy one. I do also think, like, nobody's asking Ariana Grande. Nobody's asking Sabrina Carpenter. Like, mm -hmm. like it feels like people are are asking Chapel because it seems so obvious where mm -hmm. her politics lie. But and I also... they want that soundbite clip to be like, look what we got. We got it. We got yeah, it. I don't yeah. think necessarily that would move the needle. I think the Chapel's fans are already primarily... 
Chapel fans. Like, and they're going to they're going to do what, yeah she just and, to like publicly endorse somebody and i think that if there is going to be a politician that comes out that is more progressive mm-hmm. then it's going to have bigger punch if she comes out for them later like if an aoc runs if you know bernie's mm-hmm. not going to run again cuz he's 300 years old but like mm-hmm. if if there was somebody that actually spoke to her more personally when she endorses them it might it might have more impact and so like i don't know what the strategy is behind it like she has so many so many followers and stuff so i don't know if it's like a responsibility thing yeah. or I don't know if it's a like person like she seems just very like I don't want to be told what to do and so there's also a chance that because everybody's asking her to do it she's like no. <gasps> I just remembered something Tell that's me. my like my that's the raven <laughs> like eyeball thing and we need like a light bulb yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she is uh performing on SNL the first week uh with John Mulaney mm-hmm. so it's still time. She Maybe could she'll like, do it then. She could do it then. She could pull out like, just like have a shirt on or something and be like, whatever. And that's be true. like, boom, there it is. No, that's so true. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. Yeah, and she's so theatrical. She might have a big plan for it. Yeah, and we're, be, ruining, her, we're ruining her whole thing. I yeah. know, God forbid, like these artists have a plan. Like I know, they know what they're going to do. There's still a, a couple of months until yeah, the election. Yeah, I think it's like either next week or the week after where it's like the premiere. So, and it's the 50th anniversary of SNL. So, I think she's got some... Um, some tricks up her sleeve. But I do think that it's also hilarious that we're talking about like, you know, P. Diddy, blah, blah, blah. And then we're like in the same breath. And should Chapel be speaking out about politics more? Like, I like I, I feel like it's such a not, I feel Everything's so- Everything's a shit show. No, I feel so hesitant, yeah. like criticizing pop stars uh-huh. for, for even any, like even like Ariana Grande breaking up that marriage or whatever. I'm sort of like- that's not my marriage. Like, I don't really, I do care and then I'm yeah. like learning about it, but it's I feel, fun. I don't feel good like criticizing them about marriage, it. But yeah. No, I, I just yeah. I don't feel good criticizing them about right. it. Right, I know. it's like literally there's like all of these insane. Crazy shit happening in the world. And stuff. Right. Yeah. And so to me, I really like, I do think it's like such an interesting conversation because it's like, why not do it? And like, should she do it? Like, and what would the impact be and stuff like that? But I don't, I don't like criticizing her about yes. it. Yes. No. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, that's very, very fair. And I totally agree like acknowledge that and appreciate that because yes it's like you shouldn't have to be like like look at all this bad stuff over here and it's like she hasn't endorsed a president yet and you're like okay we'll like make let her have some time she'll get to it yeah, there's just like there's a spectrum of she's complaining too much <laughs> yeah oh god forbid you yeah. know her life changed this summer totally and speaking of another life that has changed sabrina carpenter oh. i land and i were talking about this earlier we were very on the fence about Sabrina Carpenter. Mm-hmm. Understandable. Which, meaning we're just older men. And we're like, okay, we've got a new pop girl. We know pop. We'll see how this works out for yeah. her. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of this girl now. No, the thing is, it's like, <clears throat> you either have it or you don't have it. Yeah. And she just does have it. And it's like, I felt the same way. She appeared, like, I didn't really care about, like, Feather. Or what was that song? Where You lost me. Her, I know. Yeah, her, like, had, single that was, her, like, like yeah. first yeah, thing yeah, that yeah, kind no. of made her, like, jump up a couple levels. I didn't watch the, like, shows she was on, on yeah. like, whatever. High School Musical, the musical of high school. The uh, series yeah, on High School Plus. The <laughs> bodyguard's girlfriend's husband's niece. Yeah, cousin. yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, literally. Like, yeah. And so I also kind of just tuned into her with, like, Espresso. Uh, everybody that else. was it. But that's all you need that's to get started. Need. And that's her hit me baby one more time. That's her, like, we're just, we're in now. Mm-hmm. And her and, like, the Barry Kagan relationship, like, her and Which the little Irish. Which is over, Irish. allegedly. It, uh, it's over, question mark, though. He, like, commented on one of her things, something oh. cute. And so I think that she does actually have, like, dating issues, which makes me love her even more because, like, all of her songs are, like, about how it's, like, dating is hard. Mm-hmm. It's, like, so cute. Mm-hmm. And I love that she dated this just, like, weird, like, indie, short Irish guy, and that's her, like... She's writing all these like heartbreak songs. Like it's just like so it's so cool. Well, about Sean Mendes and stuff too. Like yeah, Sean Mendes Camilla and Camilla. Camilla too. Yeah, true. Which I was like, oh my God. I like I'm now doing research about these songs because I'm just like all the background. Yes. I'm yes, just like you're doing background. just this grown man being like, what is taste about? <laughs> Question oh, mark. Oh, tastes so good. Yeah, too. I'm like, so Camilla Cabello and Sean Mendes were dating, and then they broke up. He dated Sabrina Carpenter, they broke up, and now and then went back to Camila Cabello. Meanwhile, he's gay the whole time. Allegedly. You heard it here first. I just say stuff. <laughs> That's why I get in trouble. <laughs> Allegedly. I've seen him once in an Equinox steam room. That was it. <laughs> you saw him up close though, huh? <laughs> um, but 
I'm absolutely obsessed. We were talking about Death Becomes Her yeah. earlier because that's what we do before mm-hmm. we roll. I'm like, oh, let's talk about Death Becomes Her. Warm- those are our vocal warm-ups. Oh, yeah. Because, well, my <laughs> eye was twitching and I was laughing because I felt like the uh, the guy who tells Madeline Ashton about the, you know, the... the the party and and uh, Isabella Rossellini who gives her the potion and he had this like eye twitch in the movie and I was laughing about that and you're like oh did you get into that movie because of Sabrina Carpenter and I was like actually thank you for thinking that I'm 19 years old I do but uh, no it's like one of my favorite movies ever and uh, actually just watched it like two weeks ago um, but yes I love her even more for just like doing that whole reference I've yes. talked about it like a couple weeks on the podcast uh, with Jenna Ortega for the taste video no she's just making so many good choices she's really really fun and I also like her like she is she's, so horny she, <laughs> <laughs> were you not gonna say that she's so horny <laughs> no she's literally so horny like no. all, she's like a pop princess on the radio talking about how she's like please come on me and like she I'm so does horny. yes Sabrina. I know, but she does this like cutesy little voice and she's just begging for come. It's disgusting, Sabrina. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, this is a Christian nation. <laughs> I always see my pop princess was like, I don't do that stuff. No. And then you're like, um, yeah. Mm. I'm a Christian. I'm saving myself. Pepsi's Pepsi. That was my. <laughs> oh my God. I That was my pop princess. Now, I didn't know they were begging for come. God. <laughs> Look at her. She loves that. Jesus. She loves come. But I mean, my God. So she. A princess. I know. Now, Christmas will never be the same for me now that I know that. So she is like coming the after, uh, no, no, no pun intended, uh, after <laughs> Mariah, because um, she's releasing a, a Netflix special, holiday special on December 6th. Now, mm-hmm. holy shit. Dead. Dead! I'm Dead. like, oh my God, for some, like, I mean, so I feel like this so bitch important. just like, like raised a sword to the Christmas dragon, Mariah Carey, to say like, I will slay the beast once and for all. And she can have Christmas. She's so Christmas for some reason. She's, well, I mean. She's like the icy, she's like kind of Elsa. Well, and she's kind of a bitch and I love it. Oh my God, she's kind of a bitch. And she was, I, I forget if she's oldest sister or youngest sister. I think it's youngest sister, but she was talking in her like chicken shop date when she did that, you know, those like dates with the Amelia girl and they eat chicken. Do you know what I mean? Is this a YouTube thing? I don't know. They eat chicken and talk? I feel like every like, like hot musician ones? has been. It's, hot it's like Hot Ones, put chicken chop date. Mm-hmm. Wait. It's, in, it's British. Oh, it's a British Hot Ones? It's like a British Hot Ones, but it's okay. flirty. You've seen chicken her. Chicken shop You've date? This. You've seen this. Cher's done chicken shop date? Everybody's chi- done chicken chop date. I don't know what chicken shop date is. You're educating me. So it's like this girl. I don't know her background. I don't know if she's a comic or something, but she has people on and they go on a little date at like a like a chicken shop and then they just, they just have a little banter and it's just like a cute little interview. Oh, that's cute. I think that it blew up really big when Jack Harlow did it because they were like, had like crazy chemistry. Probably. Jack like, okay. Harlow can like do anything to anybody. Body with just yeah. look, I, which is so weird. But shave the beard off, it's weird. I don't find him attractive Not at all. all. But, but oh, yeah. there she is. So, so she, cute. I did find her being, she was like kind of bitchy on this in a way that I really liked. Yeah. And she talked about being, I think, a youngest sister. Uh-huh. And when you have like a lot of sisters as a girl, like you're always yes. like hot and bitchy. Because yes, it's like, and I just love that she, in that promo for the Christmas special, you just see the legs up <gasps> of like a Christmas person. You're like, oh, fuck, it's Mariah Carey. And then she goes, expecting someone else? And you're <gasps> like, oh. <laughs> she also just um, got some, like, hair product. Uh-huh. Um, she's, like, the face of some, like, hair product now. And it, it comes in on her. And then she's like, I'm Sabrina Carpenter, and I know a good bang. She's, like, talking about her bangs. And the whole thing is just, like, and everybody deserves a good bang. Uh-huh. And it's just, like, she's, like, her team is just killing it. it. Yeah, she's like, she's, like, a little, like, slutty virginal princess. Yes. But also, I'm a little worried because that shade right there, that hot shade, Mm -hmm. that like DL shade she just threw, Mm -hmm. warmed up the climate and that glacier now has an extra crack in it. (gasps) So Mariah may possibly emerge early this year. I mean, you know Mariah's gonna kill her. Oh, absolutely. You know she's living. Absolutely. Um, But I will say this, Mariah Carey, you keep thawing away, bitch, because Mm -hmm. today, this week, is the 25th anniversary of Christina Aguilar's uh, first album. <gasps> yes. Not Dirty, before Dirty. No, no. What a Girl, I think it was What a Girl Wants Her. Yeah. Uh, I think it was just Christina Aguilera. I think it was just called that. I remember the cover. Genie in a Bottle. Yes, yeah. yeah. And she was just like, yeah. With that weird choppy bang. <laughs> Crazy bang. <laughs> and um, uh, she does the sit, sit Down 25th Anniversary. It's available on Spotify. I watched a little bit before I got here. And 
God damn. She looks amazing, too. Do we think I, just Ozempic? Like, she looks well, so good. Well, I didn't know I turned to you was about Ozempic. Like, honestly, <laughs> like, uh, who knew? I had no clue the whole time. Genie in a bottle, Ozempic. Ozempic. I mean, the whole, we right in front of you the whole time, uh, and now you see it. Reflection, Ozempic. <laughs> um, I mean, it's so good. She sounds better than ever. Her old manager... Wait, why pictured next to Sabrina Carpenter? Is she going to be on Well, the because Christmas Sabrina thing? Carpenter sits down on the couch with her and sings What a Girl Wants. <gasps> oh. Uh-huh. So this wow. is actually from oh the God. series. Oh, my God. Look at them together. And what we were talking about earlier about Sabrina Carpenter, I was like, I love her. Mm-hmm. But Christina fucking <laughs> runs so circles around her. No, it's not I know. even. It's not even. It's not even. But like, you're, and, and like, which, even Sabrina like looks at her like, cause she does her whole like, you know, whatever. Yeah. And Sabrina's just like, <laughs> and like sticks her tongue out. I mean, cause it's, it's, I mean, the voice of a generation. Seriously. No, no. I mean, I remember even when it was like Christina and Brittany, everyone was like, oh, well, clearly Christina's a better absolutely, singer. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's just really cool. It's actually really cool. And there's also rumors that Christina and Sabrina are going to do a duet for something in the near future. Love that. It could also, be the Christmas song because Christina Aguilera also has a banging Christmas album yes. that has been overshadowed by Mariah forever. And it's absolutely one of the best. Christina Christmas. never gets her flowers. She's like so famous. Yeah. And she's so high, but she truly never gets what she deserves. But just quickly about Britney Spears. Did you see the comment that she made? Let's the, go into it. The, yes, I did. About the VMAs. That fucking weird video. The weird. The weirdest. That fucking weird yeah, video. And dark. I absolutely, everything about me is Britney Spears. I love Britney Spears. I was raised on Britney Spears. It's the first CD I ever bought. Like, Britney Spears is, like, very crucial to who I am. Mm -hmm. But why? And I, I even, like, when she's naked and she's dancing with knives and stuff. Like, I yeah. think that's all fine when she's doing her twirls. I'm sorry. I'm just still <laughs> thinking that's the first CD you ever bought. I mean, I just simply, ah. it's just, I yes. mean, I was 30. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's still, it's the only CD I would still reach for. It is, it is pretty wild because, and if you don't know what we're talking about, it was the, after the VMAs, Sabrina Carpenter had her, I, I love that you said that it was a, uh, uh, her um, Hit Me Baby One More Time because it totally was. You had the aliens come out, she kissed the yes. alien, which was kind of yes. an homage to Britney and Madonna kissing. And then Britney, or... Britney or Britney's body double. Yes. I have no idea. Like, gets well, this on... was the first time that I was like, "That's not Britney." Me too. That I did really too. The first time, yeah. And you know, we're we're very supportive of Britney. We we're rooting for her, but yes. you know, when it when when something comes out, we got to talk about it because she made this video where she's like, "Hey," and the vocal fry. The vocal Ugh. fry. The vocal fry. Like she's she's weird now. Obviously, we all know that. She's yeah. Weird. She's doing the weird voice. She she also like referred to herself as old in it, which is like doesn't seem like matronly. She would, would she would doesn't feel like she would do that? And she was being like kind of like backhanded. Like she so much of the video, she was saying it's so cool that I was mentioned because I'm like so old or whatever. Yeah. And she's like, I forget that I'm famous. And she was like, Oh my god, Britney. And I was like, oh, That's me. And I'm like, Girl, we know. We know yeah. who. You, like you need to know who you are. Yeah. And then she was like, I didn't really get it. Like I thought it was weird. Like why didn't you kiss a girl? And like, why didn't you? I, a girl. I, I couldn't tell if she was like trying to make a joke about the Madonna where, where, Christina. Like where the setup where like the misdirect is like, I thought it was weird. Like I didn't get it. Like and yeah. then the twist is like, why didn't you just kiss a girl? Yeah. Like I, I I'm giving her most benefit of the doubt in that she just like tried to execute a joke but was like on pills or something yeah. and just made it so weird. Yeah. But it was like it was this was the first time where I was just like Brittany, like we don't, we don't, I don't get it. Take her phone. I don't know. I know I'm the same way because I'm just like, what is it? And everyone's like, where, what, what's with the gap in her teeth and all that? Like, and she just looks, she looks like Christina Aguilera song, Dirty. Oh, right. Does, yeah, but I did love that outfit in Dirty, in the music. Oh, video. absolutely. No, we're talking about Brittany. Brittany in that Instagram video yeah, looks dirty. like she looks dirty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah. I loved the outfit in Dirty. Are you kidding? Okay, me? the red thong. I'm not a big Kardashian fan, but I'm like, I'm sorry, but when Kylie Jenner dressed up as Christina Aguilera looks for Halloween, so good. It looks so good. No, I'm not a big Kardashian fan either, but sometimes they just get the aesthetics right. Yeah, That's nobody's fault. <laughs> they get it. They get it. Um. So, all right. Well, moving on. Brit yeah. Brittany did. It does look like Brittany did take the video down. Oh. <gasps> 
I mean, did Britney take the video down or was it the government herself? Wait, breaking news. Britney took down the video or did she? <gasps> bum, 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 I feel bum. like she deletes stuff all the time, though. She just posts stuff and She'll delete stuff. her Instagram account for like a month. She'll she, come back. She does whatever she wants. Oh, uh, it's so weird. Um, well, we're moving from one pop princess to another. Lady Gaga responds to a college classmate's Infamous Facebook claim that she'll never be famous. I have seen I have seen screenshots of the of the Facebook group. Yeah, I've seen that like top picture. Well, I I want to read a little bit more on this because uh, the article says that Lady Gaga just broke her silence. Like she has said something. She entered the chat <laughs> uh, regarding an infamous old Facebook group made by a college classmate who claims she'd never be famous. Like to be clear, the this person went through the trouble of creating an entire group with. Wait for it. 12 members. Pathetic. Titled, <laughs> titled Stephanie Germanata, you will never be famous. The only 12 people that don't like Lady Gaga. I like, mean, no, Stephanie Germanata. Just Stephanie Germanata. Truly an embarrassing moment for all involved, especially considering as the second slide of the below TikTok points out, Gaga went on to win pretty much every award under the sun, mm -hmm. some of them multiple times. Mm -hmm. The TikTok list includes mentions of Gaga's Oscar, 13 Grammys, three Brit Awards, two Golden Globes, 10 Guinness World Records, five World Music Awards, three te Teen Choice Awards, three People's Choice Awards, 18 MTV Video Music Awards, two Critics' Choice Awards, one BAFTA, two Billboard Women's Music Awards, 10 Billboard Music Awards, and three American Music Awards, and a thousand bottles of baby oil. <laughs> she will always be famous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it is kind of crazy how much she has done. I mean, my God, she's also going to be in the sequel to Joker. Um, I mean, she's really going for that. Would Oscar you say though. that a star is born? I mean, she was. Yeah. Before a star is born. Yes. Um, so do we know what Lady Gaga said in the Facebook group? Let's see. So she says, oh, oh, the mu musician's response in the comments of this group. She says, some people I went to college with made this way back when. This is why you can't give up when people doubt you or put you down. Gotta keep going. FYI, Gaga has Joker coming up. Blah, 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 blah. So... But also, like, was she just bored? <laughs> somebody, somebody dropped it in the comments, like a screenshot of it. Oh, and said there's a Facebook group yeah. about you, yeah. and like they're talk all twelve people. Like, who cares? <laughs> You're Lady Gaga. You're like, I'm gonna ruin these twelve people's day. But I get it. Revenge is kind of fun. Yeah, re revenge is so fun, and and to be at that level to just dunk on your bully from high school yeah. is so funny. But also, how lame! You created a Facebook group. About like, I mean, when I was dating somebody, when I was in high school, there definitely were like blank kill yourself Facebook groups <laughs> for each other. <laughs> but how long ago was this Facebook group created? I feel like Facebook only started in like 2008 or something, something right? like that, 2004. But also, I mean, she that has was the, the first ever Facebook group. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it could have been. Maybe that's yeah. why it's yeah. so talked about. It's like, that was the first time. We they can invented create groups, groups now? They invented groups for bullying. Yeah, they're like, oh my God, we can create groups now? Stephanie Germanata, you will we'll never, never be, be famous, 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 famous. Um, but just pause it in, in one, one question, though, about it. Like, what was she like in college that she inspired 12 you know she, classmates? No, you know she <laughs> literally was a nightmare. You know she was, like, singing her Lady Gaga style, like, in between classes in the hallway. And well, wasn't she on, um, what was it called? Um, like Star Search or something? No, it was that MTV show, Boiling Points. Lady Gaga was on Boiling Points What's on Boiling MTV. Point? It was where they would take people. It was a hidden camera show. And they would like push them to the limit to see if they would snap. And if they didn't snap, they would give them money. Oh, okay. And Lady Gaga, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's Stephanie Germanata right now <laughs> with her brown hair. I mean, look at her. Yeah, she, she was on Boiling Points, and I think man, she didn't get the money. I do think she, she snapped. She so should have played Amy Winehouse. <coughs> it is insane how much she should have played Amy Winehouse instead of whoever got cast. Well, yeah. And then, I mean, she she's going from Boiling Points to now. Um, this is kind of amazing. I'm glad that she's kind of entering the chats mm -hmm. from, like, long ago because Lady Gaga is now explaining why she refused to address early career rumors that 
she had a penis. Yes, which I, think I read women this. need to discuss more. Yeah, if yeah. we do or do not have penises, or yeah. we should keep our mouth shut about it more. I don't know. Well, I always, I also thought this was really sweet about how she was talking about how she was like always getting accused of being trans, and then yeah. she never addressed it because she's like, there's nothing wrong with being trans. And yeah. So it's like a really sends a really good message to be like, why would I squash these rumors? I don't think that they're vicious rumors. It's just I think that's awesome. But it's also that weird era of like pop music that like we're going into with like with like. Britney Spears and how people were like talking about her body and they're like, oh, so let's talk about your breasts. Like, yeah. In an open room and like, just like how weird like paparazzi and that weird culture was to like these like young girls. No, no. <clears throat> so, so predatory and, and horrible. So she says the reason why I didn't answer the question because this was an interview that was done like right when she popped with like, uh, um, Poker uh, face? with which one? Poker face. With po yeah, her first album, yeah, yeah, Poker Face, and she was like real weird and like really going with for the it. Sia hair, yeah, and, and she had like the like circle glasses and the and, like, meat, the meat outfit, meat outfit, 2010. That yeah. was right before she announced Born This Way, <gasps> which was at the at the VMAs. Um, so she says the reason why I didn't answer the question is because I didn't feel like a victim with that lie, but I thought about like. What about a kid who's being accused of that who would think that a public figure like me would feel shame? Yeah. I've been in situations where fixing a rumor was not in the best interest of the well-being of other people. In that case, I tried to be thought-provoking and disruptive in another way. I tried to use that misinformation to create another disruptive point. And this also to why? my Facebook group, <laughs> F you, look at me now, bitch. <laughs> I think that this is also why Britney Spears hasn't squashed the rumors that she's her body double because she's like, what if there are little kids that are actually their body double yes. and they feel ashamed about that. They're called changelings, <laughs> yes. There is a changeling in the woods <laughs> that could be young Jimmy's so doppelganger. Brave. So brave. That is so weird. Yeah, why can't Britney Spears just be like, it's me, guys. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> like, like I don't know. Because it isn't. I, I mean, it isn't, and the one thing her body double can't do is tell a lie. Because <laughs> if it does tell a lie, it goes back into the tree where it came from. No. Yeah. Um, well, here's fun. This is some fun stuff. Um, from Lady Gaga to partying New Yorkers. This is a new statistic that came out. It says that over 75% of New Yorkers admit to financial hangovers after drinking. Now, I didn't know what a financial hangover no, was. It's just like, what, you spend too much money? Yeah. Yeah. So over three-fourths of liquor-loving New Yorkers have confessed they've experienced, quote, financial hangovers or the dreaded feeling that a night of drinking left their bank account hammered, according to a new survey. Of the 318 New Yorkers questioned, half admitted they've thrown caution to the wind by not setting a budget for a boozy night out, according to the survey by casino.org. Okay, casino.org. Casino.org. <laughs> I love that casino.org is really like... Really throwing stones, <laughs> but <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> yeah, this could be a gamble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I also feel like, okay, New Yorkers, you're upset that you spend all this money on booze. Like, nobody told you to live in New York. Like, and also I can nobody afford... told you to buy that $28 <laughs> martini, which no. I do every time. Oh my God, an espresso martini. It just like, it just creates the vibe of the night. I know. It's just as, so important for ambiance. As someone who just drank their weight in Mai Tais. Yes. <laughs> uh, I just like I have so many friends that just moved to LA from New York uh -huh. and all of them are complaining that it's like it's so hard to socialize here because nobody in LA drinks or like it's in, in New York it's so easy to just be like let's go grab a drink or whatever and then in LA people don't really do that as much I think because really? like everybody drives here for one thing and then also everybody's like LA sober where it's like you just do weed and mushrooms and ketamine and MDMA or <laughs> and no Should alcohol I because start doing ketamine? Uh, I don't think so uh, but. I won't get it from Matthew Perry, that's for sure. Aye, aye, aye. And you can't. Yeah. You can't no, now. No. Um, Since he doesn't sell it soon, anymore. Is it too soon? Never. Happy 30th anniversary, friends. <laughs> uh, um, so yes, by the next morning, 91% of respondents said they've wakened up feeling, uh, la, 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 feeling anxious about how much dough they dish out the night before. Yeah, no shit. Drinking's expensive. I'll drink and like not spend that much money on drinking and then I'll spend $300 buying stuff on my phone because I feel free. Like oh. if you drink alcohol, you're going to spend money. That's just goes, that's part of it. Or this is what my, my boyfriend does. And I'm sorry, Evan, I will out you. Sometimes Evan will have a martini mm -hmm. and then get on Amazon mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And then packages will show up. Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, is it Christmas? Yeah. And then I open those packages and I'm like, what right. is all this? Where did this come from? He's like, remember when I was sitting in that chair last night? I was like, oh. <laughs> I remember when my eyes were pointing in different directions. <laughs> yeah. I was over here and over here. I was like, checking out my sides. Amazon yeah. cart. Yeah. I get it. But also I feel like in New York, yes, everything's expensive. You're, you're, you're living in a $6,000 a month, you know, closet. Yeah. Like, oh. But also I'm more fascinated that LA doesn't drink. That's that's certainly LA's reputation. I guess so. I can't I I'm not a big like weed person. I can't. I could take like half of a gummy and I'm good. Oh my god, I love half a gummy. Half a you half are? A, half a gummy, I will check out of my Amazon uh, cart. Maybe that's Absolutely. why we're getting along so well. We're yeah. half a gummy friends. I feel like a half a gummy, especially <clears throat> like if you've had like a tough couple of days and then you have a half a gummy, I feel like it just like kind of wipes your brain clean. Like it's like a palate cleanser. Like Usher's Twitter. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I feel like so many celebrities' Twitters just took half a gummy. Yeah, it's like our brains get scrubbed. It's like yeah. severance, but like with gummies. Oh my god, did you watch severance? Absolutely. Oh, I love Severance I so much. I can't wait for it to come back. Thank you, Ben Stiller, randomly. Right. Why? Yeah. Why is Ben Stiller involved in the show? But loving it. I mean, goofed. So good. Yeah. I, mean, I would rather Ben Stiller be involved in the show than Ben Stiller involved in the P. Diddy case. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, my God. Like, ben Stiller, unproblematic. <laughs> whew. Um, okay, we have time for a couple more stories. Let's see. Uh, this is a story out of Japan. Um, or no, 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 no. This story came out of close Cambridge, Massachusetts. Same, same. So right? a group of 11 <laughs> Japanese and U.S. scientists have won the Nobel Prize uh, in physiology uh, this past Thursday for finding that many mammals can wait for it, breathe with their intestines via the anus. Uh, 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 uh. I feel like I could have told you this. I've had so many of my friend's dogs' mm -hmm. anus come up to my leg and I can like feel the breath on it. No. Why are you're all these feeling, scientists you're not getting feeling, credit no. for that? You're not feeling anus wind. No. No. You can feel... No. Hold on. I need to read more. I need to read more. The group leader, Takanori Takabe, oh, a professor at Tokyo Medical and Dental University, said in remarks about receiving the spoof prize. Oh, it's a spoof prize? Or is it a real prize? Is this a real prize? Is this fake news? It has to be fake news. That he hopes finding that someday help treat people who suffer from respiratory problems. Okay, uh, IG Nobel organizers said the awards are for research that makes people laugh and then makes them think. I'm very confused. Is this fake? I mean... It seems to be... I mean, that's what spoof prize would mean, right? So it's a spoof Nobel Prize. Fun. Damn it. Okay. It's an acknowledgement. Oh, it's an acknowledgement. Okay. It's like when a celebrity gets like a um, honorary degree at Harvard, but they don't or actually have... a world icon award at the... VMAs. Did he, did he yeah. do it? He did. So through experiments using mice and pigs with respiratory diseases, they found that administering an oxygen-rich liquid in the rectum helped ease symptoms, a result mm. supporting their hypothesis that intestines can exchange oxygen. <sighs> is, so, is there a chance they were just kind of breathing kind of weird and then they shoved all this stuff up their ass and they were like... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy that the Nobel Prize can go fr from like anal breathing, but it's like, I feel like the Kardashians could get a Nobel Prize for anal bleaching. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's just, yeah. just switch some words around anal breathing and anal bleaching. They're and very so similar. It, so you can breathe out your anus. Does this mean having anal sex is actually just a blowjob? <laughs> I don't have I don't have a math degree, but it feels like that's the math that checks out. I think it just had an aneurysm. <laughs> an annualism. Yeah. I don't know. So, that was I mean, yeah, the whole time when it's right there in front of you. Or behind you. Or behind you. <laughs> yeah. The prizes are organized by the oh no, uh, the an the annals of improbable research, science humor magazine. Okay. So that I, I, yeah. After four years of the annual ceremony being held online due to COVID nineteen, the event returned to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology for eighteen consecutive years. A Japanese national has won an IG Nobel Prize. Sounds like they're getting silly over there. Sounds like a lot of hot air to me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That story stank. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, and finally, this mm -hmm. one is. This one could be a Nobel Prize for the future. Are you familiar with Jelly Roll? 
All I keep hearing about is Jelly Roll, and I don't know Jelly Roll. Okay, same. I think, yeah. like, Jelly Roll— I refuse to learn Jelly Roll. I feel like Jelly Roll is kind of like— Let's make a pact right now to okay. never learn Jelly Roll. <laughs> well, I know what it is, but I can't say his name five times in a mirror because he'll show up. Have a full edible, and then you'll forget Jelly Roll, and then you'll be pure. I wish there was an edible that did do that. <laughs> because I, I, when, when I found out what Jelly Roll was, there was nothing Jelly nor Roll about it. Ugh, jelly yeah. Roll— be something else. Okay, it's, fine. It's pretty crazy. So here's this wife, Bunny XO. Bunny Roll. Bunny Roll. Bunny XO says she's given up tampons. Oh, God. And oh. says, I just want to wear a diaper. Um, the dumb blonde host, I guess she has a podcast, um, shared that she's gone from six tampons a day to just one diaper and shared the disgusting bathroom rules on a tour bus. This um, is the thing. It's like, that. Ju- I don't know how comfortable you are with, like, period talk. I love period talk. But it's period. like, it's diaper, it's like, that's just a pad. Sorry. Like, pads or diapers. Why Why make it Why make it weird? Or is it just a chum bucket at that point? <laughs> like, what is it? It's just, a diaper is not just a pad. I think it's full on just shark bait. Yes. Um, Bunny XO is sounding off why she doesn't use tampons, preferring instead to use what she calls diapers. Uh, she says that one person asked if the woman's menstrual cycles are linked since they're in such close quarters, meaning sharing a tour bus. The question prompted the girls to share details about what is and isn't allowed on a tour bus bathroom and how they manage their periods while touring with Bunny's husband. Jelly roll. And that's you, it. She just says... If you had a period, uh, what okay. product would you use to treat your period? Like a tampon? You'd be a tampon? You'd be a tampon user. <laughs> I think I would. This is one of my favorite. I do this for crowd I've always work wanted sometimes. to know how it works. Well, yeah. So sometimes on the road, I will ask men in the audience what they would use for their period. Mm. And I try to ask guys that would be uncomfortable with the question. And then I do make them choose. Yeah. And whatever they answer, I go, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Objectify man. We Thank love you. objectifying men. Ew. 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 Um, there's nothing more effective than ew. <laughs> but I mean, like, I feel like, because there's different, the things that I know about periods are you have, like, light days and then, like, heavy days. And then sometimes you can just have, like, like a heavy Niagara Falls carry at the prom. Like I think that it's pretty consistent for like if you, like some some girls have heavy ones, some girls have light ones. I have like very light ones. Good for you. Uh, I was gonna you. say you have really skinny periods. Oh my God, thank <laughs> you. So dainty. Your periods are so skinny. Thank you. So dainty. <laughs> well, one thing that I love teaching guys about, if you have not already heard about this, yeah. there's like there's like the day that your period ends, uh-huh. and there's also the day that you finish acknowledging your period, and those are different days. <laughs> So I don't know how y'all do it. Seriously, heroes. well, there is there is always a point where it's like almost done, and you don't want to like keep dealing with it. But there's like there's you know there's still gonna be a little bit of movement, and you're mm. just kind of like I'm just gonna wear black jeans. <laughs> I know. And then there's I always like I, there's I have a couple friends who are like oh my app. I'm like there's a period app. There is app. So my boyfriend does my app for me. That's because, a true ally. Well, hero. I just like and wasn't putting it in right, and then every month I was like I'm pregnant, haha, and he was like what? wait you weren't putting it in. I I was always like maybe it started Thursday maybe it never started I'm a free spirit I don't know and then I kept saying to my boyfriend I'm pregnant and oh. then he was like grew frustrated with that and then so he has started why would he get pre- frustrated with that because I just was always like I'm I'm pregnant haha ha. and he was like <laughs> he was like are you though yeah so and he was so, terrified so now he does the tracking for me yeah and, as he should right so gentlemanly yeah. the problem is like now he has like a lot of data. Now he has, like, a lot of, Now like, he knows. He knows your cycle better than you do. Well, yeah, and so if I'm, like, being bitchy to him, I see him, like, check his phone, and I'm like, <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Unacceptable. He's like, oh, it's her time of the month. No, but really, it is. I know. I don't want him to know if I'm actually <laughs> mad or if it's oh, that. Oh, girl, he knows the lunar cycles. Oh. He knows the stars in <laughs> I know. the sky. And then it's also so funny, because we'll be, like, extra careful if it's, like, the danger zone, like, if I'm, like, ovulating uh. for, like, having sex, and then I'll ask, like, hey, can you check if it's like the danger zone? And then he'll be like, um, it is, but it's just the green dot. It's not the flower day. <laughs> oh, good. Because there's that's... one day that's you're very fertile mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. the days around it are just a little bit. Mm-hmm. See, but I feel like uh, we'll, end, we'll end with the with the period talk. But now I'm because thinking period. about like, Well, because period. <laughs> yeah. I feel, I don't know. What, what kind of like 
feminine hygiene product vibe. I do tampon. I, I'm giving tampon. Oh no, I use tampon. So I thought you were asking me what, what I you, use. Well, what would you think I would do? I think tampon. I think the tampon is just like hot girl shit. Thanks. Because it's like, yes, they're full of like lead and whatever, but it's just like <laughs> sometimes you're full of lead. Like get over your oh, you think you're so cool, you shouldn't yeah. have any lead in you all the time. Like Yeah. <laughs> Gypsy Rose Blanchard called that rock candy. Like no, she true, loved lead. True. No, I feel like truly hot girl shit is is tampon. Yeah. There's like the hippie hot girls that like to do like diva cups, which I'm no, not interested. No, no, I hate a diva cup. No, I hate a diva cup too. One of the other my other crowd work thing I do is I ask guys if they know what a diva cup is and I make them guess. Oh, they don't know what, what do they think it is? They think it's a bra. They think I, oh. my best answer that I sometimes will repeat is um, there was a guy that's like, is it a sporting event? <laughs> it should be like the diva cup. The diva cup. Like, you know. <laughs> oh my god! And it's just like Mariah Carey and Sabrina Carpenter just yes. like round one in the fight. octagon. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I want like celebrity death match, which that show needs to come back. Did already. you ever play? There was like a celebrity death match game on Xbox that was in like claymation. Oh yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. Like, so fun. It was like such a one hit thing. But it was so much fun. You should play that on your Patreon. That would be so fun. That would be. What is that what system? Is that? It's Xbox. But I feel like you could get one for like two dollars on eBay now. Probably. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, it was like six hundred dollars. Um, but uh, yes. Uh, I yeah. I definitely feel like I would be. Um, not a diva cup. Definitely tampon. Not a pad because like I feel like. Uh, but mm -mm. definitely not a diaper. No, nobody's using a diaper. Well, she's just. Now I know what's. Where the I'm, jelly comes from. I'm, <laughs> I'm angry that she's using a diaper. I'm angry that she's making me hear jelly roll again. Yeah. This is my new enemy, this woman. And, and that her name is Bunny XO. This woman is my enemy. Have a good look at her. She's on my list. I'm gonna she's try to get her, I'm gonna try to get her lumped into the Diddy list and oh, get her taken away. Hear that jelly roll, we're looking at you. We're, I mean, he'll probably show up here anytime. He's here all the time. Uh, but I've never like acknowledged because that he just like likes to be around comedians. That's another thing I don't like. Why are famous people, you know, famous people that like love being in comedy circles? It's mm -hmm. like, you're famous. You don't need to be funny. Yeah. Well, it's usually they have like a lot of face tattoos as well. Mm, so that's it's kind true. of like a dynamic. That's true. But also, I don't want to be on a list. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> I don't want to be like, oh, I went to <sighs> Jelly Roll's <sighs> freak me party. <laughs> I know you can't go to cool parties anymore. Now you're can't on a list. Cool parties, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, me not getting invited to parties. I'm like, I'm trying to not be on a list. Yeah, I don't want to go to a Jelly Roll uh, freak off party because it would probably be at like Pink Taco. R. I. P. R. I. P. Pink Taco. Did you hear about Pink Taco? No. <laughs> is that like a where you'd put your tampon? <laughs> Close. It is, is a it Mexican is? restaurant that yeah. was on Sunset Boulevard, and it's closed after 15 years. My favorite sunset spot, Chibo, just closed. Chibo's too. closed down too. Yeah, yeah I love Chibo. Down, or closed down again? I mean, it has. It had like it was all boarded up. Yeah, Pink so Pink Taco had the worst Mexican food and the worst name ever. Girl, same. but you know what? It was fun to go to for a while. One of uh, many of. Uh, let me think. Some of the many uh, items that I will miss are their famous, as well as their, yeah, so mm. R.I.P. Pink Top. R.I.P. Oh, my God. Did you have fun today? I had so Sophie, much fun. Sophie, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank Come you back for having anytime. me. Let's do this once a week. Please, yes. anytime. And uh, please tell everyone you're going uh, uh, to Austin this weekend. Yes. Make sure to get tickets. <laughs> Cap Sophie, City, Cap like, City, this Austin. weekend. Yes. I forgot to promote it. It is urgent that you come see me. So I've got a lot of Texas people who watch and listen to this. So go Yay. see, go see Sophie at Cap City in Austin. We'll put the link down in the bio or in the description Thank of the video, you. all that stuff. So Thank you. And and tell everybody where they can find you on social media and all that. Yes, Instagram, TikTok. I'm Soph Buds, S O P H B U D S. It's because my last name is Buttle. It's not a weed thing, but we do love a half a gummy. We do love a half a yes. gummy. And with that, we'll see you next time here Thank on the Just Saying Podcast. Have a Great rest Thank of your you. week. Mahalo. Mahalo. Bye. <laughs>